Hello world, welcome back to my channel Slave for Music and today we are reacting to the band called Idols and Illusions and they are their most recent release Vulture Surrounding. Actually, uh, Idols and Illusions contacted me on Instagram and I usually um, very fast on answering requests uh, on reactions simply because I may forget that I said yes <laughs> and that I promised a reaction. Um, because, you know, life, my full-time job, everything that is happening with world situation and correct correspondence to um, life music industry in which, you know, which I'm a part of. So I can have that message on read four weeks and I'm sorry about it I'm not being a bitch although I could be I'm just real busy uh, sometimes I simply do not have the strength to do anything related to my channel I mean filming searching listening to music and whatever but I eventually make a reaction it just takes me a little while and I have those messages on red so that I wouldn't actually forget about them so, I think at this point I probably should have a contact, like an email where you could send everything you want me to react to, I guess, I guess. Yeah, so the email will be down in the description below. That is the email to send uh, all your reaction requests. If you're in a band, uh, if you release music and you want me to react to it, just email down below, drop your message there, and I will make a reaction probably a couple of weeks from the moment you've sent it, but I will, and I will actually let you know that, hey, I filmed it, so yeah, here's that, and um, yeah, let, let's let's just do this, yes, let, let's just go, let's just see and hear what is happening in here. I really like the beginning, it's like, it's very theatrical, if I may say so. That is really theatrical, like, I don't know how to describe the sound except for theatrical. Oh, come on, are you, are you trying to go with a metal opera or something? Like, it is really like theatrical and really gothic. This is kind of the vibe I'm getting. Yeah, theatrical and gothic, like, I don't know. Like Metalcore Dracula on Broadway. <laughs> I mean, that's a big, really big thing to say, but it's kind of, it kind of feels like, I don't know.
should have really liked this. talk about Vulture Surrounding by Idols and Illusions. This is really cool. I really like it. Like, really, it is theatrical, kind of gothic, kind of, like, attention to details in the instrumental. That was pretty cool. Good, good. I was trying to say it was pretty cool. Yeah, it was pretty cool. There's this part in the, in the chorus where um, the vocalist sings his part, uh, the first lyric, then he sings the second, and he drags out a second a little bit longer when he kind of pushes into this last word or into the second part of the word that it, that he's like stressing out that is supposed I feel like it's supposed to uh, go with a uh, with a bit and it actually kind of misses a bit for a little bit like it, it's I guess what I'm trying to say is r rhythm okay let me let me let me revise this and actually like actually get you oh, I, I, yeah I should I can't talk I'm sorry I cannot talk it's the final hour da 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 in my chest and it's like it's it's missing it's missing that beat it's like it chest it's supposed to it's supposed to fall right on the on the prominent beat and it misses that and it and it kind of the moment loses its magic to me because rhythmically it's not synchronized in the way I personally feel like it should have been. So it's kind of it's kind of it's kind of missing out that missing out that point that like prominent point. Every other thing like the like all the extreme parts and all the verses they are really like on beat they are really following that kind of beat structure, but that particular part, like this particular part, is actually missing it, missing that beat, just like for for, for just for a second, and it's kind of like, uh, and it just falls down. Kind of, uh. That's me personally. When I write lyrics, I like write lyrics to a particular instrumental. Uh, I actually like tried my best to kind of follow the beat, follow that rhythm section vocally um, so that it could have the kind of this really cool eff effect on listener that I want because otherwise it just kind of just kind of misses it, like kind of misses that impact. Let me check check it further. Here's that all will be devoured and now our time is so stressed and it misses it just by just by a fucking second it just misses it and I'm like it's, it's, it's almost it's like it feels it either misses it or vocally it is not as stressed as the actual beat so like you do not give it vocally enough energy on that particular word even though it's supposed to be stressed ironically and ironically it's kind of what I've paid attention to otherwise everything else is pretty on point really great I really love that like theatrical feel and that theatrical kind of playing around with things and those kind of gothic opera like sounding vocals in the background of the second verse I think that was really cool like so basically aside from that kind of critique I don't really have anything else of the critique sort to say because everything else I actually really like. I, I really like the song. It's just this minor, really teeny tiny thing that I kind of noticed. You know, that this is just me being sometimes a little bit nitpicky because I am working uh, with uh, a band. Not a metal one, unfortunately, but I do work with a band and I write lyrics for them. Like, they provide me with instrumentals and with the ideas of what they want the song 
to be about and some they usually write um, I mean they always write a vocal line for me to reference it I usually follow it because I mean it's with them these are my friends and with them it's it's pretty kind of very specific so um, I usually follow that vocal line not to the, not to the T because you know sometimes when I write the lyric this part of the vocal line needs to be changed because because I write it differently and uh, everyone is usually very happy with uh, whatever I, I come up with so there's that that's because I pay attention to that because like I quite literally pay attention to the things while I am writing for the band that I'm working with so there's that this teeny tiny little critique that I have otherwise I really love this thank you to the band thank you to idols and illusions for reaching out to me on instagram i would love to see what you come up with next what you release next i definitely would love to have a full format ep or a whole album kind of thing from you to explore your music a little bit more but i liked what i heard already so yeah original uh link to the original lyric video will be down below in the description uh go ahead and show idols and illusions some love uh on youtube and on their socials uh let me know in the comments down below what you think of the song whether you liked it or not um what are your thoughts and opinions and i will see you in another video Bye bye